Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining the different types of sizing properties in Frema. These properties also apply to other design tools such as Figma, but today we are going to be focusing on Frema. So we are going to be explaining the different properties such as fixed, fill, relative, and fit content. We are going to be going into these properties deeply. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So in today's video, I have this particular Frema file open here. And in this Frema file, I only have this particular stack that you see here. I'm going to go to the layer section and rename this stack to be card item. And the reason I'm doing that is so that once we start adding containers and start playing around with the different sizing properties, we'll be able to differentiate them from each other. So for this card item, I'm going to drag this card item and put it into our desktop frame. On selecting this card item here from the layer here, I'm going to right click and click on add stack. Once you add stack, you're going to see that we now have a stack um, containing this card item. I'm going to change that stack name to be container so that we can follow along properly. So the first property we are going to be looking at here is the fill. You can see that this particular container is automatically on fill. That means it's filling up the desktop frame. To show this, I'm going to select the card item and I'm going to go and select fill also. You can see that now the card item fills up the container. This is how you make use of fill. If you want your content to fill up the container in which it is contained in, you make use of fill. But before we go to fill, I'm going to revert back to the previous state and you can see that our card item was initially on fixed. And basically what fixed does is that it lets you manually set the fixed size, be it a height or width of an item. So you can come here to put in 500 pixel and the measurement unit in Frema is actually pixel. So you can come here to put in 600. If you want to use like rem or m, you make sure you convert it before putting it here because whatever figure you put here is going to be in pixels. So you can go ahead to put any figure you want. You can also click on this ball item and drag it from left to right. You can see that you can increase you can see that you can increase this container. You can increase it and you can make it smaller. A very similar property to fixed is the relative. So I can go to the relative from fixed here and click on relative. And you can see that it is showing us the relative size of this content relative to its container. So this simply means the card item is 57% of the container in which it is contained in. And that's just the major difference between the relative and the fixed. The relative shows you the percentage of space of your content relative to the container in which it's in. So with relative also, you can also manually shift it or edit it, like you can reduce it or you can increase it just like I am doing here. That's what you can do with relative. But if you're using something like fill, which is what I showed you guys earlier, you can't make edits to a fill because fill is a preset value. It just makes your content fill up the container. You can see that I can't come here to edit it or drag it. If you're working in Frema and you've somehow encountered this, that you are trying to edit or drag your container, it's probably because that container property is not on fixed or on a relative value. So that's the difference between um, the fixed, the relative, and the fill. Now, let's go to fit content. Basically, what fit content does is that it takes the shape of the content of the container. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this card item, and I'm going to change it to relative, and I'm, I'll say 50%. Let's make it 50%. So what we want to do now to illustrate the fit content is on the container, which is this container that is filling up the entire desktop, where we have our card item. On the container, I'm going to change it from fill to fit content. Now, once I do that, you're going to see that the container now takes the shape of the content. That is what fits content does. Fit content just makes sure it is the exact size of the content in your container. So I'm going to reduce this particular um, card item. I'm going to return the container back to fill for the width. I'm going to return the container back to fill. And for the card item, I'm going to reduce its size a little bit. So after reducing the size, you can notice something that the text here is longer than um, the container in which it is contained in. In this situation, what particular property do you think would fix this solution? You can guess right. 
So if you select your text, what you want to do is come to the width section here, and in all of these properties, the property that is most likely, the property that is best to solve this situation is your field, because what happens is that the content takes the size of its container. So by the time you select the text content and you switch to fill, you're going to see that it's just going to fill up the container. An alternative to this is we are going to revert back. An alternative to, to this is to use a fit content. So it's either the content takes the shape of the container or the container takes the shape of the content. So an alternative to this is to click on the container, which is this content container where um, we have our title and our description. You can come to this width section here and change it to fit content. Basically what it does, now it fits the size of the content. But you can see that the parent um, card item container is not on fit content, it's on fixed. So it's not taking the shape of the other content. To fix this also, you then need to also change this to fit content in order to achieve this. So you can see the different ways you can achieve the same thing. So this is quite a longer process. And if you really understand these different properties, it can save you a lot of stress. So if we go back, instead of doing all of this, what you could have just done in this situation is to make this particular property um, feel, and you have solved a lot of your stress, instead of trying to adjust every other thing to fit the content. So this is the different um, properties in Frema, and I really hope you understand. So that's basically the different sizing options in Frema. I hope this video has really helped you understand how to use these different properties. And if you're still struggling with it, I suggest you take some time to practice and understand how it works. Because sometimes getting your hands on these things and trying as much as possible to create something with them gives you a better understanding. Thank you guys for watching and I am going to see you in my next video. Bye for now.